What's up you guys? Sydney Morgan here. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad to have you here today. And I'm going to be doing a little natural get ready with me slash brush tour. So if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about what type of brushes I use and what I would suggest, then keep on watching. Okay, so we're going to start out with the base like I usually do. I'm going to be focusing on the brushes, not really the products in this video, but if you guys want a video where I highlight my favorite products in my everyday makeup routine, I can definitely give you that too. But for today, just the brushes. So I just put my foundation on. I'm usually a big brush girl for foundation, but I just recently started getting back into sponges. So if I was using my brush, I would be using my Morphe M439, which is a pretty standard foundation brush. And some people don't like brushes for foundation because it gives them like a streaky look, but I honestly like the brush. But I'm also gonna be using this Sigma sponge that I just wet and it got bigger. Fun, love that. So if I was using my brush, I would just be beating my face like a sponge. I know some people when they're using makeup brushes will like go in like this and obviously that's why it's streaky. I don't really go for the sponges because for a while there I was feeling like my makeup sponges were absorbing too much of my product and I was getting frustrated. But I don't know, I've like come back to them as of like this week. So my brush routine for the most part stays the same but as I'm getting new products and trying new things, if I like them, I'll work them into my routine. I'm happy with how that foundation is looking, so now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. Okay, so I mostly just conceal like my under eyes and maybe my nose if I'm feeling fancy that day. And I've been loving this little angled concealer brush. I think it's from Anissa Beauty, and they have a cute little purple base on that. And this is really nice to get those under eyes. Or if I just wanna go over that larger area, I'll go back in with my sponge. Use the little angled part to get in the nice eye cracks. And I'll just buff that out. And I'm doing the bridge of my nose because I was out in the sun. And you know when you're out in the sun and you get tan and it just makes your whole nose darker? I'm not really vibing with that, so that is why I'm concealing my nose today. Thank you to Care Of for sponsoring this video. So if you don't know, Care Of is a monthly vitamin subscription service that takes the guesswork out of supplements. So they actually have a quiz online that you can take and it'll recommend vitamin supplements based on your goals. So one of my main focuses when I took the quiz was gut health. And another goal that I also had was like hair and skin health. So they gave me a collagen blend. Okay, so this is the collagen. This is the little box that the supplements come in. And so every day you just come here and you take out your little pack, which I love that they're already packaged together because with my health history, I've had to take 36 pills in a day and it was so confusing, but they make it super easy. And it says, hi, Sydney on it. In my pack, I have calcium plus for bone health, my probiotic blend for gut health and digestion, and then the last one, rhodiola. It is for stress and mood. Their packaging for the pills are also eco-friendly and compostable. Care Up also has an app where you can earn free rewards and discounts. So honestly guys, I would highly recommend taking the Care Of quiz. So if you guys are interested, you should definitely check out the link. It'll be in my description box down below. And you can use my code SMORGAN50 for 50% off your first time. So big shout out to Care Of. I love you so much. And let's get back to the video. And now sometimes after my concealer and foundation, I'll go in with my cream contour, cream blush, cream highlighter, but I'm not really feeling that today. I think we're gonna do powders. So the next step would be to set this in place. So now I use a different powder on my whole face versus what I use on my under eyes. So for my whole face, obviously you're gonna want a larger brush for this. And this is a nice fluffy one, so it'll disperse the powder evenly. This is also from Anissa Beauty, and it is their multi-powder brush. So I'm just gonna dip that into the powder and start kind of pushing that into my base. And then on my under eyes, I use the Morphe E48 brush. So this is kind of a tapered, fluffy, dense brush, and I just dip that into my under eye powder. And because it's like tapered like that, it's perfect to just reach under the eye and I just pat that in. That base is looking super snatched. 
but we're looking a little washed out. So I'm thinking that now it is time to go in with our bronzer and our blush. So I'm gonna take this big bronzer brush, big bronzer brush, that is hard to say. I'm gonna take this big bronzer brush and this is from Sigma. It is their F29 HD Bronze. So I'm gonna take this in my lighter bronzer shade. We're just gonna dip that in there. And just get the sides of the face warmed up a little bit, get the cheekbones starting to come back out. And I like how big this one is because it makes it like look really natural so you don't have any harsh bronzer lines because that's honestly the worst. So bad. Now that we are slightly bronzed up, I'm gonna go in with my darker bronzer shade and I'm just gonna take the Morphe M405 brush, which is also this angled bronzer brush. And this one is definitely smaller than the one I was just using. And with that darker shade, I'm just gonna go in under the cheekbones and just define that a little bit more. I'm gonna go in with my blush, which is like my favorite part of my makeup routine. I just love blush so much, I just feel like it really brings that warmth and color back into your face and makes you look alive and like so cute like blush is like so youthful and like oh my god like tiki like i'm so rosy like period if i can open this blush why does ColourPop make their blushes so hard to open so for my blush today we're gonna take the morphe e4 which is a blush brush as you can see it is pink because i use it every day also angled look at her queen she's bigger than the bronzer brush and so i just boop 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 boop, boop dip that in top off the excess and then I smile a little bit like that and then I tap it into the apples of my cheeks see what I mean like we look so cute now I usually go overboard with blush but it fades really quickly so yeah we're just gonna leave it like that now for highlighter I'm gonna use my morphe m501 brush this is what it looks like dip that into my highlighter and just brush that on the cheekbone for a nice natural glow. And I like this brush because it doesn't put on the product very heavy. And for highlighter, I like to go for more of a subtle glow. So that's why I go for this one. If you wanted that like blinding highlight, you might want to reach for a denser brush that can put on more product. But for me, this works perfectly. I'm gonna go in and contour my nose a little bit and I'm gonna use the Morphe E62, which is the nose contour brush. And so this one is also angled. Oh my God, look how shaky my hand is. Too much coffee for me today. So it's angled and it's very small. So I'll take that with my bronzer shade and I'll just round out the tip a little bit. Give me that button nose look. Now that's pretty much our whole base completed. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock that in with some All Nighter Setting Spray. I love setting spray so much. I love it. It's just so refreshing. And now, I mean, I guess technically this is not a brush, but this is a fan from Patrick Ta. I love it. I just got this. Oh my God. I really feel like that bitch when I use a fan. Like, are you kidding me? So moral of the story, if you don't already have a fan in your makeup routine, um, you need one. Just saying. It'll make you feel that much better. And I just think it's, it's a necessity at this point. I don't know how I went so long without owning a fan. Do you want to see the fan that I have? What is this? What is this? Are there bubbles in here? Oh my god. So, um, I upgraded to this one. Now we're gonna do my brows. So, I just take any random spoolie and I brush them out before we do them so I can make sure they are sitting right, laying where they're supposed to. I'm just gonna use my Benefit brow pencil and kind of fill in those sparse areas. Now I'm just gonna lock those in place with some clear brow gel. I've been loving the like really full, dark, fluffy brow recently. And I love just like gelling them up to the gods. Like I just think it looks so good. Like, are you kidding me? Okay, so now, I mean, I guess we're gonna go in with some eyeshadow. 
And to be honest with you, I'm not that picky about my eyeshadow brushes. I pretty much just use whatever the color stained on them is. Like, I don't use certain ones for certain things. I mean, some I do, but like, if you only have one eyeshadow brush, you can accomplish a lot, is basically what I'm saying. I like this one a lot. This is from Morphe as well. I love Morphe brushes, obviously, I have a lot of them. This is the Morphe M433, and this is like a kind of fluffy blender brush. So I'm gonna start with this one to pack on my transition shade. So I'm gonna dip into a kind of brown tone, and I'm just going to kind of blend that in the crease. Now I'm gonna take the Morphe M456, which is smaller than the last one I used, and I'm gonna take a darker shade on this, and I'm gonna pack that on like the outer V of my eye, and like the outer corner, and define that crease a little bit more, and it's more precise, basically. So you can blend on a smaller area and keep it there. So we're just gonna go ahead in with that darker brown. Now to put some shimmer on my eyelid, I'm gonna use the Morphe 166 brush. So it's a rounded little dense brush. And so I usually spray that with setting spray, dip it into my shimmer. And then because it's rounded, you can just follow that natural curve of your eyelid and get that nice cut crease moment. Now with this little pencil brush from Morphe, which is the M431, I'm gonna take this and highlight my inner corners of my eyes and my brow bone a little bit. And so this one's very small and very pointy, so it makes it easy to get in those small areas. Oh my gosh. Now I'm just gonna go in with my eyeliner. So I usually will do some white eyeliner in my waterline. And then I'm just gonna do my liquid felt tip liner on the upper lid. Our wings are on fleek, so now I'm gonna go in with some mascara. I usually go in with a curved brush first and then a dense brush second for volume and length, if that made any sense at all. This is my curvy one from Benefit Roller Lash. And then I'm gonna go in with my Milk Makeup Mascara, which is a bigger, denser, fluffy, I don't even know, brush. And this one gives it length. And then for my natural everyday lips, I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with the Benefit Lip Tint. It just gives it a very nice natural wash of color. Now I'm just gonna pop some gloss on top of that because we gotta have our nice, juicy, voluptuous lips. So that's the next step. So that is this quick little natural get ready with me slash brush tour all completed. I hope you guys enjoyed it and maybe it was helpful. Maybe that's, that's all we could ask for was someone thought something that I said in that video was helpful. So if it was, then please give this video a big thumbs up down below. It really helps me out. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit that big red subscribe button so you can see my videos. And hit that notification bell so you get notified every Tuesday when I post a video. And yeah, comment some more video ideas down below. I would love to hear what you guys wanna see from me and I can definitely do it for you. So if you have any other questions, drop them in the comments. I'm gonna be reading through them and replying to some of you guys. And I think that's all, so until next time, bye guys.